so now we would start writing our code and first we would import Maya dot open Maya as open Maya I would select that and execute it and secondly we are going to import one more module which is import Maya dot open Maya mpx mp is capital or uppercase mpx here stands for Maya proxy open Maya mpx are the API classes designed for the cases in which user designs their own object such as command node or any other type of plugin so in this case we are designing a command plugin that's why we would need open Maya Maya proxy API all right the third module which we would need is system because we would be outputting errors for that we would need system after that we would define a variable and we would call it as command name and I would give it a name plugin command and then as we mentioned that we are going to write this command plugin in form of a class so we would define a class we would give the name of a class now now we want this command plugin to work as an internal command so that means we want Maya to think that it's an internal command and to make Maya think like that we would have to inherit one class of open Maya mpx module which is m p x c o m m a n d mpx command so what is mpx command it's a class used to create mal commands mpx command provides all the functionality necessary to make maya think that it's an internal command it would function like a built-in command so when we derive any class from Maya or mpx command the derived class should always have a do it function because it's going to do something so it would have to have a do it function so in this case this is the derived class this is the base class so our plugin command is a derived class so derived class should have a do it function and then we would write a constructor def init and we would pass self with that when we would initialize this class we also want to initialize mpx command class so we would call the constructor of open Maya mpx dot mpx command dot in it and we would pass self in it so we have defined the constructor and as we mentioned that this derived class should have to have do it function and we will pass self definitely so now our plugin command can ha might have the arguments as well for example when we create a polyplane we can give the argument like what width do we want what subdivision do we want so for the subdivision we would call it SD so these are the argument and we would take them as a list so we would pass one more argument to do it function which would be argument list 
now we can write anything what we want our plugin command to do in this case just to simplify because here we are understanding the structure of a plugin command